Austin, Texas, Scrubs Alan Johnson McGinnis said it would take a lot for him to say yes to any role these days because he is busy raising his children. The actor, who has starred in multiple movies a year since 1986, shares daughters Billy Grace, 14, and Kate, 11, with his wife, Nicole McGinley, and has a son, Max, 24, from his first marriage to Lauren Lambert. I'm not, working, now. It's a little seductive, he told Page Six at the ATX TV Festival with a weekend. When I balance what it's going to be like not to be around, because you're working not fatalistically, it's going to take a lot. McKinley, 62, added that right now he is just enjoying driving his daughters to school and gymnastics. I like to drive places because there's this little window, especially with little girls, there's a little window where you're going to be allowed in and then you're not going to be allowed in anymore, he said, joking that he is on the way out. The rest of McGinley's time is spent serving on the board of the Global Down Syndrome Foundation, which is near and dear to his heart because his son has Down Syndrome, and working with the Special Olympics. I know what Max's path is, McGinley told us when explaining why the foundation is currently focusing on Alzheimer's disease. If he's fortunate enough to live long enough and, you know, you're buffering him with all sorts of interventions and things that will give him the best chance to live as long a healthy life as possible, he will get Alzheimer's. According to the National Down Syndrome Society, 30% of people with Down Syndrome will develop Alzheimer's disease in their 50s, and 50% of people with Down Syndrome in their 60s have Alzheimer's. Max is healthy and fantastic, McGinley said when we asked how his son doing. He's got a job at Starbucks, he plays in a band and has a concert in a couple weeks. He loves being with his sisters, he's in great shape right now. McGinley also credits Max for inspiring the personality of his most well-known character, Dr. Perry Cox on Scrubs. I think the camera's an X-ray machine and you can't see me, John McGinley, without seeing Max because I brought him to set every day right in my stomach, I brought him, and it doesn't matter whether or not it's up on a billboard or not, the lens knows, he said. Cox's edges are rounded by Maxi. McGinley said the episode that was hardest for him to shoot was in season 5 when the hospital loses three transplant patients to rabies. I remember when I was at Max's bedside, I used to hold my guts cause I wanted to keep them in, and I put that in when Zaki, Zach Braff, brings me a sandwich at the end of it, and you see, I'm just holding my guts cause I used to hold them, he recalled. I felt like all day all I was doing was holding my gut, and if you bring some of that with you into that scene, the camera is going to suffer as your truth, and it was my truth and the question becomes, how much of your maxi truth do you want to tell? And I told it all in that episode, 